Today, we will learn about intersecting lines and parallel lines. You already know about line segment and line. You may recall that the shortest route connecting two points represents a line segment. For instance, here the shape obtained by joining point A and point B is the line segment AB. When we extend the line segment infinitely from both sides, we get a line. We can say that a line neither starts at a point nor does it end at a point. It increases infinitely, which is represented by an arrow mark on both the ends. Can you tell what we can name this line? Think for a while. You're right. We name it by any two points situated on the line. For instance, here we will name it as line AB. A line can also be named using small letters in English. For instance, line L. Remember, line is a one-dimensional shape. When it comes to understanding two or more lines simultaneously, we are presented with many situations. For instance, if you have to represent the location of your house on a map, you will have to make different routes. If you look at them carefully, you will notice that some paths intersect each other, whereas there are some routes which even on extending will never intersect each other. We can represent a route with a line. In this way, the pair of lines that intersect each other are called intersecting lines, whereas when a pair of lines that never intersect each other, even on extending them infinitely, they are called parallel lines. Now look at this pair of intersecting lines. In this, both the lines are intersecting at this point. Can you tell on which line is this point? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. This point is on both the lines, which means this point is the common point of both the lines. On this basis, we can say that if two lines meet at a point or if there is a common point in two lines, then these are intersecting lines. The point on which intersecting lines intersect is known as the point of intersection. Or, we can also say that the common point of intersecting lines is called the point of intersection. If two lines do not meet at any point, that is, there is no common point between these two lines, then they're called parallel lines. For instance, lines AB and CD are parallel, which is represented like this. There is another special point in the context of parallel lines. Let's understand this with the help of this ribbon. Can we say that both edges of the ribbons are parallel lines? Think for a while. Absolutely right. Since the width of the ribbon is the same, the two edges of the ribbon will never intersect and so we can call them parallel lines. With this, we now know that the distance between both the edges will always be the same. Similarly, the distance between parallel lines also remains the same. On the basis of your understanding of intersecting and parallel lines, can you identify the intersecting lines and parallel lines in the given figures? Pause the video and try it. Ok, let me tell you. If we look at these figures, here lines do not intersect. Therefore, these figures represent parallel lines. Whereas, in these figures, the lines are intersecting. Therefore, these figures represent intersecting lines. Now let's look at these intersecting lines. These lines make an angle of 90 degrees, that is, a right angle. Such intersecting lines are called perpendicular lines. For instance, here AB is perpendicular to CD and represented like this. Today, we learned about intersecting lines and parallel lines.